What's up, billionaire squad? It's your girl Donna the Thee, and I am very hot. That's what I am. No, seriously, I'm back with another video. And so I feel like today I just wanted to come by and give my ladies some tips because some things work with men and some things just don't, okay? So it don't matter how bad you are, it don't matter. Like, it just don't matter. Some things just do not work in your favor when it comes to men. So, let's talk about a couple of those things. Now, three things that men do not like. Number one, men don't like when you tell them what to do. Okay? You could be right. You could be 100% right. But it has to come off as a suggestion. Okay? It's like... Do you think this would be a good idea or do you think we should, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't just tell no man what to do, not a man. You can't just tell him what to do because it's like automatically in their nature to rebel because they are, they feel like they are the dominant one. So you can't just tell them anything. You have to suggest it. You have to make it like a suggestion, ask their opinion, give them a chance to make a choice. Okay, they have to be able to make their own decisions. That's one thing about a man. He just he likes to make his own decisions. So it's in your best interest to just suggest things and not tell him what to do. Okay, number two, men do not like argumentative women. I don't care what you think. You think it might be sexy. You think you might just be talking crap. Like, it's, it's your power is in knowing what battles to pick know how to pick your battles ladies okay um not saying that your your opinion is not important your feelings are not important because you definitely have to uh voice your opinion and your feelings so that he knows how to treat you that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is 75 80 percent of the time you should be for one speaking in only one tone so that way when you finally are upset he actually knows because your tone changes um, for two, you want to not not argue and nitpick about every single thing. Let it be something serious that, that's really bothering you or something that's really affecting your household for you to speak about it. Because he's going to get in the habit of knowing you as a, not submissive, but like a humble person and not argumental. So when you finally have something to say, he's like, okay, maybe I need to hear her out. You know what I'm saying? So... I've been dating someone and I feel like we are really growing because we both stay in our own lane. We live our own lives. We have our own interests and, but we, we respect each other. We know how to come together. We know how to listen to each other. So like I barely ever argue about stuff, barely ever. So when I finally have something to say or something really bothered me, he's like, are you done? Go ahead, get it out. I want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear what you got to say. Get it out. You feel me? He not, he not oh he tired of me arguing at this point because that's not something that i do on an everyday basis um so yeah pick your battles ladies don't be living your soft side okay and then so by the time you actually have a real issue with something he's like okay how can i fix this what is it that's bothering you you know what i'm saying and then so number three men do not like women that compete with them okay you might have other interests you might make more money you might be more mentally mature. You might have, you know, higher goals. However, men do not like when women compete with them. It makes them feel as if you don't need them or it's pointless for him to be around. Or maybe he might feel like he want a woman that he can do things for. Or um, he don't, every time he's telling you something good about him, he don't want you to have a rebuttal about how good you're doing something or something like that. Like, let him have his moment. If he's telling you about something that he's happy about, you know, congratulate him on it. Um, let him know you're happy for him. Encourage him. You know what I'm saying? And then when it's your moment, when you accomplish something great, you 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 have your moment. You allow him to do the same to you, but don't always every time. Oh, but I just went to the studio. He, he like, maybe I just went to the studio. And then you like, yeah, I just made this song too. And it's going to be popping, blah, blah, blah. Now give him his moment. I want to hear the song. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, give him his moment. 
Don't be that competitive woman. Don't be always rubbing things in his face. Don't be always talking about what you got and how much you got and all this and all that. Like, don't be competitive, ladies. Just live in your soft space, and I promise you he will love you more. Like, to be that person that always bring him peace after so many things that he fight in the world, that is your power. Okay, your power is not going head to head with him all the time. So, with that being said, ladies, I hope that you like and comment and subscribe. Shout out to the fellas. I hope y'all like this video too. Share the video, like the video, comment on the video, and I will see you guys in my next video.